so it's some kind of copper copper bushing and uh, I'm always start with the sharp corner yeah can you believe it it's perfect I'm from Finland take it out Hi, I am Sami and I want to be Overlander. But first I rebuilt my ego. Hello from Wannabe Overlander YouTube channel. And the one thing I would like to ask, this these parts of holding brake calibers in the place, the floating calibers and the type, I think the type is C54 and uh, there are two difference one bolt have uh, two marks, one have one mark and this one piece is, uh, there is different variation um, measure in this tab and another one there is a slots each side i think these are for the for the creates creates what needs for the sliding i think the holes are similar in the both sides because both can fit either sides and uh, and i check inside there is no slots no any kind of marks which one you have to put and which side and uh, there's not any marks which one is left which one is right but i see in the internet they have different part number for the left side and right side so i don't know what's the difference here i check all everything and i think it's they are symmetric so i think the reason is left side and right side is the this different kind of slider slider pins so can you tell me which one should be up and which one should be down is it the uh, one mark in the up and second mark in the down or which is meaning but i think this is uh, some kind of doing when brake caliber slides it's allowed a little bit slack there so it's not going to stuck i think that's the reason for this but i found a new new pin bolts i'm ordered from the germany i think this one is usable also if i clean them but anyway i need the new rubbers here and the new bolts i'm not sure these bolts are usable again if you put the treat lock here but uh, anyway new bolts coming also perhaps with the brake pads the main reason is which one is down which one is up because i'm i don't have any clue which way these are was in my car and there's not lots of new parts parts available for this so I'm going to use this mine and the, either put the old pins with the new rubbers or put the new pins if I see what what style they are but they're coming arriving can you tell me which one is up and which one is down please will be appreciated I need to do something totally different I'm so boring to have a wrong parts or parts which are not usable so I'm going to put some cavity wax to the doors so then I can put some window, window lifters or something small things inside inside the door so I can have a advance in this project and uh, I can clear some parts of which are hanging around in the walls here So I think that's it about cavity waxing doors. There are not so much issues in these doors. But uh, now if this wax drying, then I can put, install some window rubbers and uh, something like that. So I have these new door hinges for the driver's side 
driver's side door, my door was was uh, sagging so much. So and uh, there is some kind of bushing inside the king and they don't sell it anywhere and this side is welded to the car body so I'm going to take off this pin and then I try to go fitting this in the door and uh, if it's go like I plan I just paint this piece and uh, then I can hit with the pin pole back pack this piece in the car so then I can install the doors and it's not sagging anymore so let's see can I manage to do that which is my plan and there you can see the bores so let's hit the pin bolt out it should go out with the hammer yeah Like that so yeah there is there is that bushing so it's some kind of copper copper bushing so now I just paint this piece right I have to go fitting this to, to the car frame first I think it's identical Either way, yeah, it's gonna be nice, nice and tight. So definitely this is the proper way, repair hinge. Some guys welding these holes fill and then real new holes, but then you don't have this bushing here. Yeah, it's gonna work very perfect. So I'm going to spray this one. I don't have car body color, but I spray the red primer and then I can just brush in the right color here. So then I can install the doors. So I think so this is quite proper way to repair him. So you really don't need to change just the bin bolt. It not help anything if you pushing is worn out. So I put the crease here. Like this, then the pin bolt. I think it's enough. It's already coming out from the another end. It's not sliding in more than that, but now it's definitely tight fitting. So let's just push, push this piece. Perhaps I need to put a couple of layers anyway. And not in the back there because I don't need their thick layer. Original, they are not painted from the back. And the pin head is also painted. Okay, now the hinges are just good as new, brand new. And uh, I have this one cover for door catch to here. And I cleaned it already with the decreaser and uh, let's put this on so they are going to be like this here I think it's just fine here they are identical either side then we wait a little bit, color drying, and uh, we can install the doors. The time I'm waiting that I can put some perhaps window casket or something to the doors. I clean this window rubbers uh, with the Megwire's professional rubber and vinyl cleaner. They are very fine condition. So let's try to put this on. I have there now cavity back, so. I don't want to make this very 
messy, so I, I have to be careful. I use Meguiar's rubber and vinyl cleaner, and this is so poisonous, you better you use rubber gloves than you do it. You can spray it to the sponge and then wiping. You can get the rubbers look like a new. They can clean quite easy. You just spreading it everywhere and then leave it a little bit, little bit, and uh, then scrubbing it out off with the microfiber cloth. They might have some sand and dust in the in the edge. You might know there is a couple of edges. All this can be treated with the rubber and vinyl cleaner. As you see, it could be like a new from inside too, if you clean it. Obviously you don't see it, but uh, make a big work, better make it correct. So let's put the rubber back to the window. There is some stains which I couldn't clean off, but it's never mind this overland vehicle, but uh, they are clean now, there's no sand, they could be flexible long time. There is some kind of bump stops, which I'm not quite sure where they should be. Just a little bit see marks from the bump stop, maybe it was here one piece, but I have only four of them. I put them here in the back, because it keeps window. I think when, when it stops here, it keeps window for not sliding to back, so backwards, so it's keep it in the line. But I, I think because this channel is very uh, deep and uh, bump stop idea is, is when you crank the window, it's not pulling this rubber too much, but uh, we have a hand cranks, so I think there is not a over tension, but it's easy to add later if if there's any issue. I don't I don't lose time for that now. So then just put the rubbers, and uh, I'm always start with the sharp corner because you can see it get the right correct position, and then the rest of the door. Very easy to put it in, especially when rubber treatment. It's very slippery. Always old rubbers, they're a little bit shrinking, so make sure they are all the way in the channel. Because in down, if it's a one centimeter short from down, that's not a big deal. But uh, not out of the corners. It's fine now. It's in there, correct. I don't have any idea what's going to happen, but uh, I'm going to crap the door and trying to install it here. So. This do door was sagging quite heavily because the pin bolts and the, not the pin bolts actually, the bushings from the hinge was uh, worn out and uh, now we have new hinge with the bushings and the pins, uh, they should be fit quite perfectly. But the problem is these are welded hinge and there's no any adjusting. The hinge treats in the door side is also welded so you cannot adjust there there is not a uh, moving nut inside like uh, like another cars example my 59 cadillac but um, so if the door i need to adjust thing i have to just uh, bend the whole door let's grab the door and check what we can do this better do with the help with aid but uh, i done this many times myself, so let's try carefully what we could do. This is too high for me. Grab from lower, so I can take the bolt to one hand. And usually you need, should make some protective tapings there, but I don't make this time anything. I trust myself so much. So I could do this myself, but perhaps I'm wrong. Let's see. If you get the one bolt to the treats, then it's much easier. Worst scenario. You have a one bolt in the treats and then you couldn't get another one. Now it's not going to drop anymore. 
I can relax with my hand. Wow, oh my god. Let's tighten the bolts. Before I have my workshop, I'm installing and removing doors often, but uh, if you don't done this long time and you lose your technique. Let's check what happens if I slowly close this. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's perfect. Lock backing plate higher, of course, because the door is not sagging anymore. I show you outside. It's not sagging anything. It's very firm now. And look the gaps. They are quite perfect. I need to a little bit lift that lock backing plate, but uh, here, gaps are perfect. There is something which goes as I planned, so thank you for this one. Yeah, okay, let's install this door check straps and uh, I have a brand new, it's quite tight to put in in the place. Another side I use old one, but I want to put the driver side, the new one, so okay. Now there is a new strap and it's very tight. It's an original and the brand new. It holds the door very tight. It's very nice. That's it. So what was happened? I'm already installed this. I check it a little bit more careful and I see there was a crack. So this definitely is the place where sheet metal going to crack. So I took it off and welded it. I scare it's gonna burn, but I just need to put a little bit cavity wax there more. Okay, let's try to install window here. Let's see, do I manage to do it? I have these teeth protection films in these windows. Last time I installed front window, this car was in China behind some hotel parking. That was quite easy. Let's see how do I manage to do this time. Don't drop it so you can control it all the way and then turn it to the right position like this it's quite easy sliding it down here I can see the old marks where it was and I love this car because I don't have power window so anything stupid door check trap also could, could handle better that weight so let's see, now we have a new window, not a new window, it's an original window, but we have this film here, yeah, it's nice and firm. We have done several things, installing the doors, but almost I needed to took off this one door because that the check trap sheet metal was cracked there but I managed to weld it there so now it's fine I painted already and uh, later I put the little bit cavity wax just with the brush and uh, one window is already installed uh, and uh, and the window lifters and window seals and uh, something small progress i have an old hubs here which i need to clean i'm not sure do i get the new hubs all because in slovakia volkswagen om shop i've ordered four piece but they called me and they say they have only one and they have to check can they get more more three piece somewhere but uh, i can use these ones also they have a little bit paint but uh, because I'm already start to overbuild this van, so I'm happy if I can have new ones. But let's see what it gonna be. And uh, good news is Autodoc give me full refund from all the parts. I need to just put them in the in the box and send shipping to them. But these wheel bearings, I have a setback because I this one are ruined now. 
because this seal is broken and the inside there is this uh, ball carrier I don't know what's the name of that part but when this buck pops off it's always broken so these bearings cannot use I order four piece mile bearings this kind of only bearings I don't need now those hardware's but now we have the tool it's easy to put all back together when I get the parts but because of the hops it could take one month before I, I can have all the parts so just in case for this video don't get too long and uh, I don't know what I do next I'm going to end this video here Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. And uh, if you don't subscribe yet to my channel, please do it in down and uh, remember it costs nothing. And thank you for all the subscribers and viewers. But see you in next episode. I don't know what it's gonna be, but uh, something is going to come pop off.